On Sunday, China will officially inaugurate its embassy here in Panama following the establishment of diplomatic relations between the two countries as agreed by both governments about three months ago. In practice, the Panamanians and the Chinese have had close contacts for decades, particularly in the areas of trade and commerce. Uh, just as examples, the Chinese community here in Panama is the largest in all of Central America, and China is also the second biggest user of the Panama Canal. However, actual diplomatic relations could only be established after the Panamanians decided to sever their ties with the authorities from Taiwan. The Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi will be here in Panama over this weekend to hold talks with the local government and business community and to participate in the opening of the embassy. It's been only three months since we established diplomatic relations and we will already receive the visit of a Chinese Minister of Foreign Affairs. I think this is a good display of the significance that China attaches to its relations with Panama. Before, there were companies that did not feel comfortable to come to Panama and invest here. Now this will change and more business will come. There are still a few other countries in this region that do not have diplomatic relations with China, uh, but there is hope among some that Panama's decision may help to change the situation. Panama's decision sets an example and sends a very clear message to other countries in Central America and the Caribbean that more and more the One China principle is being recognized by the whole international community. The Chinese Trade Office was officially designated an embassy on July 13 this year, about two months ago after the two countries decided to establish diplomatic relations. Hopes now are that this new political relationship will help to boost trade and cooperation between the two countries even further. Paulo Cabral, CGTN, Panama City.